Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in Lumen 10. I am architect Sonu Rai from Glad Studio and in this today video tutorial, I am going to teach you about lightings in Lumen. So to begin with, this is the scene of a small dust rent and I have included nest lighting, suspended ceiling lighting and ceiling lighting apart from there are wall lighting. So we'll do some lighting settings. So lightings can be found in objects and if you'll go here, can see this is the symbol of lights which is like ball thing and if you will double click here you can see there are some spotlights and this is favorite so if you want to make any of your lights as a favorite you can simply go to your lighting and you can select any of the boxes here and you can click this star here and that light will be saved as your favorite lighting and it will be shown in this favorites here so now the next is the spotlights so spotlights, there are various types of spotlights like uh, IES, Lighting, 3ds Max and V-Ray. So you can use them and you can use uh, in your lighting. So I'm going to use this suppose as my wall light here. And I will go nearer to this wall light. And you can see I have clicked here and you can see these are the cone lighting here. This is the cone angle of this light and it is very large so we have to do some settings so I am going to select this lighting here and I will reduce the cone angle first here and then you can increase the brightness as per your requirement you can increase and you can decrease you can change the color from here if you want to yellowish you can make it yellowish and you can increase the brightness as per your design requirement next again if you want to create for this also you have to repeat or you can copy this also but i will suggest to create another light so i will again go to my lightings and i will select this next and i will bring it here and again you will see this is the cone angle of this light select this button and can reduce the angle of this lighting and you can increase the brightness you can see how it is affecting our trees areas and sculpture so we can use as per your rendering so we can change color same here can select any color yellow red blue white so this is the function of a spot lighting suppose if you want to do lighting in this suspended lighting so you can simply select this material here i'm going to materials and I will select this lighting or mirror here and I will try to illuminate this so we can select any material here suppose you can take plastic material also here and I will take white plastic here in indoor and you can adjust the scale if you want otherwise it's okay and now in the, this uh, plastic setting of this material lilonium you can go to this symbol here settings this is for positioning of your material and this is for orientation and the next one is transparency and the fourth one this is for setting and you can see this term MSF so you can start increasing this and you will see this is getting illuminated you can illuminate how much you want as per your scene can increase or decrease so likewise you can illuminate in this way also so it's not difficult in lumen so next is same of the box lighting here also you can simply select this you can change the material from here and i'm going to first apply any material to this box and I will go to 
now dot and I will apply any metal here, metal paint and I will reduce the reflectivity and I will apply black color here we can leave white also so I am going to make it black so this is black here and we'll now we will select this lighting area here and now I will put indoor and I, I will apply some plastic here plastic material and I will go and select this white plastic material and you can change the scale here and now we will go to this settings here and we will start increasing this emissive you can see this is getting eliminated so you can use very fast same you can do for this nest lighting also you can select the bulb area here and okay. I'm going to select this material here and you can start increasing this material emissive here in settings and you can see it's getting eliminated so likewise you can do this settings here so this is the function of lighting spot lighting and can change the material emissiveness and you can increase the lighting same you can do this for lamp also so you can simply select this material and you can apply any material here and you can start increasing it emissiveness so it will get eliminated then change the color here what color you want so you can change the color also so likewise you can do illumination for lamps so you can we'll see the next lighting setting here and now I am again I'm going to objects and I will double click on this and next is omni lighting so omni lighting is give lighting to a specific area like 3ds max so suppose I am going to select omni blue here and I will I want to eliminate this so it will be omni lighting in this area and if you will I'll render this scene you can see the only lighting effect is showing lesser due to this uh, lighting setting here so I will go to only lighting here I'll select this and I will increase the brightness here so now we'll, if we will render here we will see the omni light effect and you can see the omni lighting is blue so now it is getting its effect so likewise you can use in your restaurant or any music system area or any dance floor or any of theme based restaurant or designing spaces you can use this omni lighting
now we'll go to our next lighting here this is area lighting so there are two types of area light one is a square shaped and one is rectangular line light so if you want to do lighting in some ceiling parts you can use this or if so. suppose i want this lighting here i want to light do lighting of this painting area or you can do false ceiling also you can see this rectangular boxes here and if you do changing its length and width you can simply select this and you can change you can increase the width you can see you can do lighting for your ceiling you can increase the length also so as per your requirement you can add this area light line lights and you can increase the length and width so if you want to do lighting for this painting you can also change the color here so this is the function of line light next is area light so area light is used like in 3ds max we have very light area light can use like this can put anywhere and it will illuminate the whole scene so this is the area light and now i can enhance the interior scene and you can select this and you can also increase its width and length here So likewise you can use this area lights and you can render your scene so I will show you some rendering here you understand I will show you just few things of this so now I am going to press render button so we will not worry about the lighting brightness we'll just see how it works so you can see the, all the lights are included like area lights omni lights and face based lighting and apart from there are wall lights so likewise you can enhance your rendering skills using these lighting settings in your interior or exterior spaces so you can use the same techniques so this was the tutorial for the today's session in the next section i will come with some more interesting topics in long time so bye bye